What's up guys? Welcome to today's Lego Fortnite video. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys probably one of the most important videos you're going to be seeing for the entire day. And that's of course how to travel a lot faster on Lego Fortnite, how to get from one biome all the way to the other very very fast without having to run across the entire world and waste a lot of your time so with that being said if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys do subscribe for more lego fortnite content like this and all i ask is if you guys find this video to be helpful by any means make sure you guys hit the like button this is 100 percent possible to do quite easily in survival mode because i mean a lot of you guys probably watch some videos and like oh this is all done in the creative sandbox mode well you can do this in survival mode really really easily and uh, so let's get right to the tutorial here so the first thing you guys want to do is i highly recommend you guys pull up your map and um, well before that you guys are going to want to run around a little bit when you guys start the world you guys are going to need some basic materials but you want to figure out exactly what biome you guys are trying to get to you guys can see i have my uh like the winter biome the forest uh biome we have the grasslands and then of course we have the desert uh dry valley biome as well too with some caves in between so essentially what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a rail system that goes through everything and you can make it uh, pretty more like more complex if you want to but if you guys want something very basic i'll show you guys how to do that so essentially we're gonna want a rail system that goes through everything and we can connect them if we want to go to different caves or different areas we can still do that but you essentially want to have one main rail system that goes through one biome all the way to the other biome and you have to make sure you guys know exactly what direction you're going to be heading so you can see uh if i pull up my crossbow here i mean you can kind of see i'm going to be going from that mountain all the way to this desert over here and i'm going to be cutting through the grasslands so my goal is to have a train system that's going to run through all this area so i can get through one area very very fast so the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to build some type of platform where you can go and get high as possible you want to make sure you guys are building so there is no mountains in between so i'm going to start building my rustic staircase right here and i'm going to place one down you can always enter in snap mode too if that makes it easier for you guys and you just want to build straight up as high as you guys want to one fun tip is if you guys hold down the snap mode it makes it a lot easier for you to go ahead and build and you guys know you guys are in snap mode when you guys see a little like green dot like flashing like that so once you have a nice staircase built up like that what i recommend doing is you want to leave at least two staircases down and you want to build a little bit of a platform for some maintenance and I'm essentially building the rustic floor underneath the staircase, just like this. It's a little confusing why I did this now, but it's going to make sense in two seconds. So once you guys have this, you guys are going to want to start your rail system. So on your floors, you're going to want to go ahead and choose the rustic thin floor. Hold down snap mode, and then you essentially are just going to want to walk the plank. And this is going to be your gigantic rail system. The next thing you guys want to do is get a dynamic foundation. You only need flex wood for this, so it's pretty easy. If you guys don't know how to get flex wood, make sure you guys watch my other videos. I'll put them in the description so you guys can check those out. So basically, you want to get a dynamic foundation. And you not only need one, but you actually need two of them, which I'll explain in a little bit. So go ahead, put it on your rail just like this. And then you want to jump on it and then you want to move a little just make sure there's like a little space in between and the reason why is because if you guys don't have a little gap or a space you will not be able to go both ways so you guys need to have at least two dynamic foundations with a little bit of space between them the next thing you guys are going to need is small wheels and once again you only need flex wood for this so pretty simple to do and i recommend putting the wheels right on the rail 
just like this. And then you want to go on to the other dynamic foundation and do the exact same thing. And now you can kind of tell why I made this little platform here. So it's a little bit easier for me to go under and do some maintenance if I need to. You need an activation switch and you're going to need blast powder for this. Uh, once again, I'll make a little tutorial how to actually get blast powder. It's actually a lot easier than a lot of you guys probably think. So make sure you guys have an activation switch on both of them. Next is kind of the choice is yours. You can either do a small thruster or you can do a large thruster and the large thruster will get you there a little bit faster. Um, but you have to be a little more careful, especially if your rail system isn't completely finished quite yet. For this tutorial, I'll just use the small thruster because you can see my, for my rail system, I don't have it all the way to the next biome, but I have a little bit of a distance. So I'm going to use the small thruster and that's of course going to need some wooden rods, a blast powder, as well as a torch to, in order to make it. And I recommend just putting down three of them on one side, just like this. And then you want to go on the other side here and then do the exact same thing, but opposite, obviously. So for the most part, we're actually pretty done. If you guys want to go ahead and turn it on, you can go ahead and interact with it. And then you can see it's going to be pushing your train or your cart system to like down the rail system. So this is really, really cool. However, though, don't stop yet because there's actually some other things you're going to want to do. And you got to keep hitting the interact button to keep powering it on. So you can kind of tell it will get a little bit annoying just having the small thrusters. But if you want something even like a bigger rail system or something that can get you guys even further or faster, then I recommend using the large thrusters. It just takes a little bit more materials. So you can see I kind of just stopped here and I have a cave right here so I can actually can get off and I can walk down these stairs if I want to. And then I can explore this cave. I can come back out, get all my materials and then jump right back on to my rail system. And then we can keep moving on and we can go to the snow biome eventually. So you're probably wondering why did we have another activation switch here? So if you guys go ahead and activate this one, it turns it on. And if you guys want to like kind of stop, turn the other one on. So it kind of cancels each other out and it'll stop. And eventually all the thrusters will just burn out and you'll come to a complete stop. And eventually you'll even go in reverse too. Just keep interacting with it and the thruster will push you guys straight back to where you guys came from. But then this is where the fun begins because you can get very, very, very creative here. You can actually go ahead and you can get chests, put the chests on your minecart or train, whatever you guys want to call it. So then when you guys go to caves, or you guys go to different biomes, you can actually go ahead and store stuff into your chests here and you guys don't have to worry about it. I mean, you can have like a huge inventory and then take it back to your normal village or base or wherever you guys are headed. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If this video helped you guys out in any way, make sure you guys do hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and uh, we'll catch you guys in another video. Until next time, take it easy, my friends. Peace out. Thank you.